We always try to keep our grocery bill to a minimum. But for the past couple of months, there's been an organized group here in the Valley working against you. And that is a challenge. Joe Kapelik with Fry's Foods is working with Chandler Police to stop a retail theft ring, hitting a number of grocery chains throughout Chandler and Mesa. They're not a typical shoplifter. They are people that have cell phones and talking to each other and watch and take massive amounts of merchandise. Merchandise that these thieves go and sell somewhere else. And we're talking about products that are anything but cheap. This surveillance footage shows suspects clearing an entire shelf of Tide in a matter of seconds. Other products include top shelf alcohol, baby formula, and diapers. <coughs> Merchandise these new parents say is already tough to afford. I work hard. I go to work, I go to school. So it is. It's a big slap in the face for how hard we work every day. And when stores like Fry's Foods are hit with thousands of dollars worth of stolen goods, it not only affects efforts to keep prices low at your grocery store, it can take a toll on an entire city through tax revenues. All around, it's a major loss. It's time consuming to chase these folks. It's, it's police resources, it's my resources, and it's every other retailer's resources to try to, try to manage this issue. Now, Fry's Food stores uh, here in Chandler have lost a total of $7,000 worth of merchandise due to this retail theft ring. They, have, they say they have not taken any action to uh, lock up any of this merchandise or to raise prices due to this crime. The good news in all of this, Katie, is that they have arrested a total of seven people, and Chandler police expect to do some more arrests. This is incredible. I just can't believe that video when you just see them, what looks like unstocking the shelves. <laughs> yeah. Unreal. Yeah. Thank you, Monica.